Halochi was being recruited by numerous top schools to go play college football. I was getting good at football, getting scholarship offers, getting noticed and all that. But he couldn't pass the ACT test. We just didn't have no money to pay for a tutor to try to take a course. Ofa, Haloti's mom, being who she was, started a program for him. She looked around and saw that other kids in the neighborhood were struggling with the same thing. I was one of the first kids to be part of this ACT prep course. It helped me get the score I needed to get to college. I mean, he came so close to not passing, and you wonder how many other kids could have had some success that it just didn't happen for them because of a few numbers on a test score. If you have a kid that's not getting into a school because of one or two points on a college test, that kid will say, I'm too dumb for college. I'm not smart enough to go to college. If they can't do it, they really don't know where to go. And I just don't know where my life would be right now if I didn't pass the test. And so for the last five years or so, Haloti has picked up a program that his mom started in about 2001. We make it free for all, for anyone. And it doesn't, I mean, even if it's kids not underprivileged, it's, we just say it's for anybody. We have brought the program to three states. We've taught a little over a thousand kids. The vast majority of students are raising their score two or three points. It's working. I listen to their stories at the luau's and it's hard to not cry when you hear them because they're so sincere about it and they're so honest with how their future opened up for them. If donors could just see like what they change in people's lives and how just one person's life is gonna change their whole family's life. A limited amount of money can help a lot of kids change their lives and the trajectory of their family's lives. And that's why I love this program so much is because I know what it can do. I think this is a program that could be replicated in school districts across the country. In order to be able to do that, we need help.